The Timeline of Jesus' Life The timeline of Jesus' life is primarily derived from the Gospels of the New Testament. Birth, Jesus was born in Bethlehem to a Virgin Mary, conceived through the Holy Spirit. She was married to Joseph, the carpenter. Jesus was born so that he could be the perfect sacrifice for all the sins of the world and so that man could be reconciled with God. The story of his birth is celebrated by Christians around the world on Christmas Day. Visit of the wise men, after his birth, wise men from the east followed a star to visit him in Bethlehem. They showered baby Jesus with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks for choosing my channel. Please stay and click the like and subscribe buttons as a way of showing your appreciation for me as a content creator. The YouTube algorithm will be triggered, and it will show the video to more would-be viewers. By so doing, this channel will grow. Escape to Egypt, King Herod felt threatened by the birth of Jesus and ordered the killing of all male infants in Bethlehem. Joseph was warned in a dream and took Jesus and Mary to Egypt until it was safe to return. Return to Nazareth, after the death of King Herod, they returned to their hometown of Nazareth in Galilee, where he grew up. Visit to the temple, when Jesus was 12 years old, he and his parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. After the festival, Jesus stayed behind in the temple, engaging in deep discussions with the teachers and impressing them with his understanding. Ministry, Jesus began his public ministry at the age 30 years. The first event often associated with the beginning of his ministry is his baptism by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. He preached, performed miracles, and taught about the kingdom of God. He spread his message of love, forgiveness, and salvation. Jesus often emphasized the need to trust in God's plan and to have faith in his power to provide, guide, and heal. Jesus's ultimate act of forgiveness was seen in his crucifixion, where he prayed for the forgiveness of those who crucified him. The Sermon on the Mount, he taught about various topics, including the Beatitudes, which highlight qualities such as humility, mercy, and peacemaking. Parables, Jesus taught through various parables. The parable of the Good Samaritan teaches about showing compassion and love for others, regardless of their social or religious background. The parable of the prodigal son demonstrates the unconditional love and forgiveness spirit of God, encouraging repentance. The golden rule, do to others what you would have them do to you, Matthew 7:12. This principle emphasizes treating others with kindness, respect, and fairness. The parable of the sower, the different responses people have to the message of the kingdom of God, emphasizing the importance of a receptive heart and nurturing faith. His ministry lasted for three years but impacted the whole world. Crucifixion, Jesus entered Jerusalem, where he was welcomed by crowds waving palm branches, an event commemorated as Palm Sunday. A few days later, he was arrested, tried, and crucified by the Roman authorities, with the agreement of some Jewish leaders. He was charged with claiming to be king of the Jews, which was considered treachery to the king. Lessons? Sacrificial love, Jesus willingly sacrificed himself on the cross as an act of love for humanity. His crucifixion teaches us about the depth of God's love for us and the importance of selfless love in our relationships with others. Forgiveness, even in the midst of immense suffering, Jesus demonstrated forgiveness towards his persecutors. Redemption and salvation, the crucifixion is seen as the ultimate sacrifice that brings redemption and salvation to humanity. It is believed that through Jesus' death and resurrection, people can find forgiveness for their sins and have eternal life with God. Suffering and perseverance, Jesus' crucifixion reminds us of the reality of suffering in the world. It teaches us to endure hardships with faith and trust in God, knowing that our suffering can bring about a greater purpose. Humility and servanthood, despite being the Son of God, he willingly took on the role of a servant and endured the humiliation of the cross for the sake of others. 
it teaches us the importance of humility in serving others selflessly. Resurrection, in the New Testament, Jesus rose from the dead three days after he was crucified. This event is celebrated by Christians worldwide as Easter, symbolizing victory over sin and death. The resurrection of Jesus is considered the cornerstone of the Christian faith, demonstrating God's power and offering hope for eternal life. The Ascension, before his ascension, Jesus commissioned his followers to continue his work and spread his teachings throughout the world, a charge known as the Great Commission. Jesus and his disciples, known as Apostles, went to Mount of Olives on the fortieth day after his resurrection, where he blessed them and ascended into heaven in their presence. He told them to wait in the city of Jerusalem until they were filled with power. After the ascension, his disciples became the primary propagators of the message of Jesus, and the early Christian church began to take shape. The ascension of Jesus and is celebrated 40 days after Easter. The second coming of Jesus refers to the belief that Jesus Christ will return in the future. According to biblical teachings, this return will happen at the end of the age, marking the culmination of human history, and the establishment of God's kingdom. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button, smash the subscribe button, share, and hit the notification bell.